Hello everyone, this is today's video analysis for October 2nd, 2019. Today we're taking a look at the EUR, USD, the Euro versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. Now I have two different charts here on my screen. Left hand side is of course the Euro dollar. On the right hand side is the dollar index. Uh, take a look at that when we're looking at any pair that includes the US dollar to give us an idea of what the dollar is doing. Is the dollar going up? Is the dollar going down? And that can give us an idea how we could handle any other pair that includes the US dollar, whether it's the dollar base currency pairs like the dollar franc, dollar cad, dollar yen, or the dollar counter pairs like euro dollar, pound dollar, Aussie, and New Zealand dollars. We can determine direction often when we're looking at the US dollar. If it's having a strong day going up or a weak day going down, uh, we can help, help us decide which direction to trade those US pairs. So in this case, it's pretty clear and easy to see here in this vantage point when the dollar is going up, long-term uptrend blue trend line, the euro dollar is going down, long-term trend blue trend line. And we can even look at it in a more smaller scale if we begin to zoom it in on these currency pairs on these charts. You see where I have the circle. Uh, you can see resistance on the right hand side, yellow shaded area, support blue zone. You can see some support around the green zone, left hand side, resistance around the blue zone. Not exactly the same, but similar price action. Let's even zoom it in a little bit more and just look at the last three candles. Okay, let's just look at the last, well, three, four, five candles inside the circles. You can see when the USD is clearly pushing lower red candles, the, or sorry, the euro dollar is pushing lower red candles. The USD on the right is blue candles pushing higher and vice versa. Yesterday, we saw a rise on the euro dollar and a fall on the USD. Today, we see a small blue candle with a wick on the top on the US dollar. We see a small red candle with a wick on the bottom. So again, it's a very similar mirror image to price action. So if we have any inclination to look to trade the direction of the trend, which has been down on the euro dollar or up on the US dollar, we would look for support on the USD 987060 area. And we'd look for resistance near or as close as possible to the blue shaded area on the euro dollar. Resistance here, support here gives us an opportunity. Vice versa, if we're looking for resistance on the USD at the yellow shaded area on the euro dollar, we'd look for support as soon as I can get that arrow there. There we go, the green shaded area, we'd look for support. So on the day today, uh, as the Euro USD is at significant resistance high, it's been going up, if there's gonna be a reversal to go down from the yellow zone, break through the blue zone, go lower, we would look for support the Euro dollar green zone, break the blue zone and go higher. And if the trend's gonna continue, blue zone on the USD, break the yellow zone and go higher, we look for resistance blue zone on the Euro dollar, break the green zone and go lower. And it just increases the chances of a profitable opportunity, increases the chances that the trade is going to work out in our favor. So let's say for the day today, we're looking for reversal. We're looking for the dollar to fall like it did yesterday afternoon, which means we'd look for the euro dollar to go up. We'd look for buying opportunities into the green zone. And of course, vice versa, if we're looking to trade the trends. I don't think right now selling the euro dollar on top of the green zone is what I'm going to be looking for today. If you look at the euro dollar, and let's just zoom in one more time here, it's pretty clear for the past one, two, three, four days, there's been limited opportunity to see profit. Yeah, sure, maybe if you sold it two days ago, you had some opportunity to see some profit down here into the 1.0880 level, the orange zone, uh, but it came right back up pretty strongly yesterday and now sitting above the green zone. So selling on top of the green zone, not really something that I think I'm going to be looking for today. Uh, maybe reversal, uh, targeting back to the blue zone or higher. Of course, if it can break that blue zone, we'll look for it to go higher to the yellow zone. The only real reason I begin selling the euro dollars, if it's at the blue zone and holds there as resistance, and of course, as we mentioned, US dollar into support, or it breaks down underneath that green zone. And we'll talk about a breakout scenario later on in the trade room and how that will look. But at the current moment, selling on top of the green zone, not something I'm going to be considering. Potential 
reversal to go back up is there, so we'll need to be careful and cautious on that. Uh, again, back to the put them side by side. If I was going to buy this green zone on the euro, I would prefer the USD to be at the yellow zone, which right now it's not. Take the euro dollar down to the four hour time frame, and you can see we have seen some pretty wild movement over the past couple of days. It was pushing lower all the way down to the orange zone. Sudden rally yesterday couple of candles above the green zone. Now it's trying to figure out what it wants to do here. Will it stay under the green zone, which it's not? Will it get back above the blue zone, which is or the green zone, which it's trying to do? So we need to be watchful for, uh, you know, the clear entries that give us lower risk and higher reward. I think for the day today, again, if you put them side by side again, uh, that will help give you some higher confidence in your trade decision when the U.S. dollar is matching with the euro dollar for the day today from forex traders daily this has been your daily analysis with ross mullins if you would like to get ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below